being here with me today. Today is a very impromptu video. I, as most of you know, have been suffering from an illness that has been keeping me down and keeping me from doing my regular videos and other ministry related things. But today I just felt like I wanted to get on here and share with you. I thought, you know, many times we hear about people's stories after the fact. We hear about something they went through or overcame after they've already, you know, come through and have gotten to the other side of it. But sometimes it's helpful to see someone in the midst of their trial because it's just more real and because it can help encourage us in our own lives when we see someone else depending on God to help them in theirs, if that makes sense. So, uh, I'm just gonna be sharing openly. This is sort of a chit-chat video about what I'm going through, the lessons I've been learning, the struggles I've been facing, and then I'm going to read just a very quick excerpt from the Bible regarding Elijah when he was fed by the ravens. So, I hope this encourages you today. So, a little health update first. I have gone to several doctor's appointments, as you guys know. And I haven't disclosed on this channel what exactly I'm dealing with. I think I may share on my Patreon in my next life update video for June exactly what's going on. Just so people that are curious or maybe want some more specific help regarding what I'm going through because maybe they're going through it too can get more information and maybe be more encouraged. So, I've been to several doctor's appointments for what seems like an autoimmune situation. I do not speak doctor or medical, so excuse my crass, uneducated language. I have been to the ER, I've been to urgent care, I've been to a specialist, and I've now been given multiple different medications to try to heal this ailment. I, last week I believe, had an ultrasound, and it was very painful actually, but I was hopeful that I'd get some sort of an answer. And the bottom line is this, nothing is showing up on my tests. So it's been very frustrating because I'm in so much pain internally, particularly with one of my organs, that I need relief and I'm not able to get it because no one really knows what's going on. So they're sort of resorting to calling it a chronic condition that has no cure. But we know our bodies, you know? We know when something is wrong, and I know that something is wrong. I am generally very healthy. In fact, some of you in the comments have asked me some specifics, and interestingly enough, I lost 50 pounds last year, actually almost 55, and I've never been in better shape or in better health. I'm within my BMI. I am healthy. I'm eating better. And that has nothing to do with it. But for some reason, I have contracted this whatever it is, situation, and nothing is helping. So I was very hopeful when God opened the door for me to see a specialist. 
although at the same time I was feeling like it's not the specialist that's going to help me, it's God. The trying part of it is, like I said before, you really want a diagnosis because not knowing is worse. When you don't know what's going on, when the doctors don't know, they can't prescribe you the right medicine. And it's also just frustrating to have these symptoms and for them to be so excruciating and debilitating and to hear time and time again that the test results are negative because it's like you know you're experiencing these horrible symptoms and you're not getting any closer to the solution. So for my personality especially, it causes great like stress and anxiety naturally in me to not know because it feels to me like there's no end in sight and that's scary and I don't want to live like that. I'm just being 100% real here. Can you relate? So, it's been a very frustrating situation. On top of that, I hate going to the doctor. I never even go to the doctor for checkups. I know some of you are not going to like that, but it's the truth. And I haven't had good experiences with doctors either, so going is hard enough for me. Where are my introverts at, too? We just don't feel comfortable opening up to a stranger. I don't care if they're called a doctor or not. So all of this has just been really challenging for me. And, you know, I knew when this started that God was wanting me to rest from ministry and from YouTube and just in general because I'm very go, go, go and I constantly have ideas in my mind. But I rested. That was three months ago. I rested. Like, I literally was not able to do anything because of the sickness, which I was thinking may have been God's way of helping to keep me down because I may have rested for a day or two, but he wanted me to rest longer. But then when it didn't go away, it's been three months now, it was like, what's going on? So, as far as faith during this time, it's been a challenge. I haven't really been hearing from God much, like I usually do, and I think that when you're in pain and you're suffering and no answers are coming and every door that you go through doesn't lead anywhere, it makes you feel distant from God anyway because it feels like he's not acting on your behalf or acting at all. And I'm sure that's part of the reason why I feel like he's not speaking. I'm sure I feel distant a little bit as well, but that hasn't stopped me from seeking and Many times I seek, 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 and I know God wants me to just rest and trust, and it's hard to rest and trust, isn't it? Because it's easier to act. It's easier to have some sort of control or some sort of grasp on the situation. It's hard when it's out of our hands and we don't see an end in sight. And it's hard to have to ask the question, why is God allowing this? In my mind, it's like if he's allowing this to tell me something and he wants to speak to me or whatever, great, I'm ready. But sometimes it's not that. Sometimes he just wants you to rest and sometimes he just wants you to stop and rest in him, meaning not just rest physically, but rest your mind from needing to know. I hope that what I'm saying is resonating with some of you. I'm just sharing from my heart and hoping that some of the things I'm going through will resonate with you. Maybe you've gone through them too and have felt similar feelings. 
want them to or in the timing you want them to. Let's read from Psalm 13. This is not really an ASMR focused video, but there's a little Second Kings, hold 
jobs, new life, new direction, new assignments, and miracles. But there's that lingering and waiting period many times before the good things God has for you take place. So, I hope this encourages you today. I'm sorry if this was all over the place. I just wanted to 